Hey guys, uh, John Houck here, just uh, talking a little bit about uh, third generation group head sleeves again and some of the work Bong has done. And uh, I thought I'd like to throw my uh, two cents in here. Um, so this is what the sleeve uh, currently looks like. And um, so what, uh, uh, let me just quick show you what that looks like inside the group head. Um, the uh, water inlet is here. You can kind of see the, the hole where the water would enter when you raise the piston all the way. And the water is drawn in from the top here, and Bong's concern, and I think it's legitimate, is um, that the water over here on the far end of the group head uh, never really has a chance to make it into um, the brewing chamber. And, and the reason we like the water over here, uh, Bong and I, I think, totally agree, is that it's uh, probably 90 degrees, 88 degrees Celsius, and um, that's the water we want more so than the uh, uh, way hotter temperature water, 100 18 degrees I think he was seeing um, coming in from there and, and that would be a little bit uh, rough for our uh, brew temperature. So um, his idea is to rotate this sleeve 180 degrees. The way he does that um, is he basically files down the top of the sleeve and puts cuts in over here and then puts a gasket on the top and I modeled that up. So I called that top cut. I hope that's okay with you Bonk. Um, and so what we have here, let me hide the gasket. He cuts the top of the sleeve. He takes about three millimeters off the top. He uh, puts in a uh, three millimeter uh, drop right there. You can see that that's three millimeters. Um, and then he said he runs a four millimeter diameter hole, uh, kind of with the, kind of uh, files that down. And this is his group head. And then he said he grabbed a mocha gasket and he puts that up there on top like that and um, uh, then um, my suspicion is that this gasket here is two and a quarter millimeters because you need to turn the sleeve one more half revolution into the group head to, um, uh, to, to get this uh, channel on the far side of the group head. So if we go over here, notice this, this is where the inlet is on the original. So I'm going to show this with, uh, um, with Bond's top cut, and you can see that the um, channel is now over on this side. You can see, maybe we peek in there. Um, so there's his 3 millimeter cut, and you can see up here is the uh, mocha pot gasket that he threw in there. And so now the idea is that the water that's over on the far side is getting drawn in here as well as the water uh, that's been standing around here. And that should give you a cooler brew temperature. And I think he pretty much proved that in his videos. And I think that's awesome. A um, couple things that uh, um, I want to um, uh, be a little concerned about is that... Um, uh, there, the water up here above the piston, which there isn't much of, but that now no longer gets, even though it's cooler, it no longer gets into the group head, but that's probably small drops in comparison. Uh, the gasket could get in the way here. If you maybe have too wide of a gasket, it might prevent the piston from going all the way up, and that's why it's colored red there. Um, another uh, thing is um, you're going to have to raise the piston a little bit higher. Um, because this whole sleeve is a little bit higher, and because the whole sleeve is a little higher, this hole goes up just a little bit. And of course, if the sleeve is higher than the shower basket, doesn't butt right up against the bottom of the sleeve. And I think my biggest concern um, is that there could be air trapped up here, and because I think there could be a lot of air trapped up here, because if you notice here, um, we're drawing in water this far down from the top surface of the bell of the group head and I'm a little concerned that the distance there which is from the top of the group head here uh, to this edge right there is uh, see if we can see that five a little over five millimeters and in the original design let's go back and take a quick peek at that um, that uh, Lepavoni put together uh, the distance there is uh, let's see if I can grab that is one and a half millimeters. So he's drawing water in a lot further down from the top of the group head. And I think there's a chance that you could leave a lot of air at the top of the group head. That's my suspicion. And like Bruce always says, gosh, wouldn't it be nice if we had a, a glass uh, group head so we could see what's actually going on in there. Um, so uh, today Bruce also mentioned um, 
this other idea, and I want to bring that up here real quick. So uh, let's go back and convert this to the original and um, take a look at this. And uh, Wong's uh, initial concern, uh, and I think that's something we want to consider, is that the water on the left side here, that this is where the neck is, the water on the left side here never really makes it into the brew chamber, and so we're kind of wasting some really nice cool water over there. And if we go back to the um, original here, you can see that the water could just definitely come up through this, the, the hot water from the boiler could come up and go right down this channel, uh, not giving the water back here a chance to make it there. So what I um, am proposing is, is another option. Um, I call that the Sugru option, where I'm suggesting we take some green putty or maybe whoever's actually manufacturing the sleeve uh, could manufacture this in. I'm not suggesting we shorten the sleeve at all. I'm just suggesting we put a water barrier in where this uh, green ring is. And the reason I call it Sugru is because I think we could try to model this up. Maybe someday I'll do that, um, see if this actually works. Um, or maybe Bong would be interested in doing that. That would be really cool. Uh, the whole idea here is to force the water to go underneath the green, come up through this back channel here, and then go down the sleeve, basically causing a water flow through the whole thing. Let me show you what it looks like over here in the group head. So our Sugru option, all we did is we just added that green line. And then what that does is you can see that it prevents the water from the hot water from the boiler from going up through here and into this channel. Um, the channel is still nice and high up to the top, so it's drawing in air that might be dropped there. Once the water makes its way all the way around the group head to this side, it can go through this channel. Then it makes its way all the way back over here and then goes down. So I think this is something to uh, um, try. Um, I'm got nowhere near the setup Bong does, so maybe this is just a subtle request to see if Bong would be willing to try something like that and try it out. I know he gets all kinds of ideas thrown at him all the time, and, uh, well, this is just another one. See ya.